cheese is easy. Do you like cheese? Do you like cheese? Do you like cheese, sir? Most people seem to think it's hard. Really good cheese. Do you like cheese? Try to figure out what their comfort level is with cheese. Welcome to Cheese 101. This is the hard cheese segment. Now, it doesn't mean like it's for geeks or anything, it just means that the cheese we're talking about today is hard. What is hard cheese? Take the curds, they put it in a press or in a, in a basket, um, and they press down on the curds so it squeezes some of the moisture out, and then they age that cheese for a long time. Uh, sometimes uh, six months, eight months, ten months, twelve months, a year, two years. There's a cheese in Holland that's called Chalda. You may know it as Gouda, but if you're one of those people who likes to say Vincent van Gogh, <laughs> sorry, um, then you would also say Chalda instead of Gouda. That cheese can be aged for four to five years. So you get the picture, right? As it ages, what happens to it? Somebody once said, um, cheese is milk's leap to immortality. That's exactly what's happening here. He was thinking of hard cheese, because after a couple years, it just gets harder and harder and drier. Now, if you did it with a small cheese, it would get unattractively hard. The outside would be all dry and crunchy. Um, but they do it usually in big wheels. I don't have a big wheel here, but you can see that these are cut from big format cheeses. That enables it to stay moist enough on the inside over a couple of years. And they have wonderful flavor. Um, these hard cheeses. Um, you know what they taste like? I used to say to my dad all the time, Dad, smell this wine. What does it smell like? He'd go, I don't know, it smells like wine. Hard cheese smells like cheese. All those things that you think of as cheesy cheddar, uh, Swiss, uh, even Parmigiano, Reggiano, you know what I mean? They smell like cheese. Other cheeses may smell like nuts or truffles. These cheeses smell like cheese. Now, most often, hard cheese is made from one type of milk, though there are exceptions, which I'll show you in a moment. But that type is, well here, you pick. Which one? Oh, you said this one. No, you said this one. Okay. That's it. We have here three cow's milk hard cheeses. That's what you most typically see. And he's just scampering along and he's very happy, my little cow. Um, I'm going to show you this one first. This is called Cantelet. It comes from the center of France, from Auvergne. It's a kind of mass-produced cheese, so it's not one of my favorites, but it's cow's milk. And you can cut this with one of these nifty Scandinavian cutters, and you get a piece just like that. Um, this one is called Comte. Its full name is uh, French Gruyère de Comte. It's like Gruyère cheese, but it's made on the French side of the border, near Lake Geneva. And this is really one of my favorite cheeses, uh, hard cheeses of all, the Comte. Probably the best of all is the Gruyère. You can see the name on here. And Gruyère, by law now, has to come from Switzerland. Also, it's right near this cheese, but it's a little special because of the conditions of that town. And you can see it's got just a little bit more of a, of a white shred to it, like it's promising even a little bit more flavor than this one. I'll taste them quickly. These are good cheeses. I like to eat them just by themselves. You have it on a piece of bread with butter. Definitely, mm, it's a little bit like a, like a baked potato, actually, but not that interesting. The Comte, oh, much more nuts and pasture. And then finally, the Gruyere, which is one of the greatest melting cheeses in the world, great for cooking, but it's also great by itself. You can also have this. Here we go. This is a sheep's milk cheese. This is perhaps one of the most famous of the hard sheep's milk cheeses. This cheese is called Manchego, and it comes from Spain. It comes from La Mancha to dream the impossible. What they do is they take this, this uh, sheep's milk, uh, the curds, they put it in a wheel, and the wheel has this imprint on the inside. So as it sits there for a long time, a year, year and a half, two and a half years, the cheese picks up this, um, this, this imprint on the outside. It sort of looks like a tire track. And since this is made from sheep's milk cheese, it's got a totally different taste, though it has a very similar kind of texture. But it's more, well, sheepy. It's more barnyardy. Absolutely. 
These are my friends. The hard cheeses. Visit them often. That's good, right? Very nice. How come you love cheese? Because it's good. Hey.